Hi, I'm Chirong from National Taiwan University. I'm going to introduce hair touch. Tactile feedback plays an important role in our daily life and is widely used to enhance realism in virtual reality. For example, we often test the stiffness and roughness of the pillow when we are shopping. We propose a pin-based device providing various stiffness, roughness, and surface height differences using reconfigurable hair structure. Some methods manually or automatically change the physical objects to provide tactile feedback, while the number of feedback forms is limited. Other works generate tactile illusions with actuators like motors to extend the versatility. However, the realism is limited due to the delay from deadband and backlash especially for stiffness stimulation with continuously change resistive force feedback. To render realistic and versatile tactile feedback, we control the change of physical objects to properties, including the length and bending angle of the cosmetic brush. Based on a pilot study, we discovered that hairs which are long, fine, flat, properly elastic, fluffy at the tips and compact at the base can provide most configurations. For stiffness, by adjusting the hairs to a longer length, the elasticity of the hairs becomes weaker, which generates the softer tactile feedback when touched or pressed. For roughness, by bending the hairs to a slow, smaller angles between the hair tips direction and the horizontal finger sliding direction, smoother tactile feedback is, is perceived when the hairs are slid. Hair touch is composed of two types of hair, two pins, two tubes, two tracks, and a controller. The two types of hair are in the two pins. The two pins control the hair's depth, and the covers on the two sides of the pin control the bending direction. The tubes raise the pins and move on the tracks to pro provide surface height differences. The tracks are then connected to the controller. The two pins render tactile feedback to the finger segments close to the index fingertip. To provide distinguishable levels of stiffness and roughness on the two finger segments, we conducted a perception study. During this study, different levels of stiffness and roughness were examined. Participants were asked to perceive the tactile feedback and adjust the visual feedback until the visual feedback best matched the tactile feedback. With the scales in the results, we can statistically analyze the distinguishability of tactile feedback. For stiffness, five levels with different hair length were chosen for examination. For roughness, Seven levels with different hair bending angles were chosen. Significant differences are found for both the first and second finger segments for both stiffness and roughness. For stiffness, six participants commented that levels 1 and 2 were difficult to discriminate, since the longer hairs allowed the fingers to easily press into the hair. For roughness, we observed that since the hair bending directions are the same as the sliding direction, the participants sometimes further bend their hairs when sliding, which reduces the differences among these levels. Based on the results, four stiffness levels and four roughness levels are provided by hair touch. To observe how the tactile feedback from hair touch affects the user's VR experiences, we built two applications and conducted a VR experience study. We used the vibration feedback generated by the controller for the comparison. The first application is virtual pet. A kitten asks the participants to pet it, and four stiffness levels were assigned to its ears, belly, back, and head. Furthermore, the pin had varied corresponding to the surface height. The second application is virtual shopping. The participants experience and buy a customized pillow. They first experience four pillows with four different levels of stiffness. Then four pillow covers with different fabric com combinations were presented. Comparing to the vibration feedback, significant differences are found in all factors, including realism, distinguishability, enjoyment, and preference. Overall, no participant reported any confusion when different stiffness feedback was rendered on the two finger segments, and the surface height differences were also easy to perceive. Two participants emphasized that they lacked the stiffness and surface height differences, which also enhances the realism. In conclusion, we present three contributions. First, we provide multi-level stiffness by changing the length of hairs. Second, we render multi-level roughness by altering hair bending angle. Third, we explore users' distinguishability of stiffness and roughness on the two finger segments close to the index fingertip. Thank you for your attention.
For more information, please see our paper.